Africa. The mere mention of the name conjures up images of wide open spaces with wild animals roaming the prairies of the Serengeti. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering benefits countries here, but don't just focus on the landscape. Be sure to notice the needs of millions of people in the immense cities. Their need for the touch of Jesus is real, and you can help. Welcome to the East Central Africa Division. This quarter we will be focusing on three countries that will receive your 13th Sabbath offering. These countries include Kenya, Tanzania, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. We will also visit a project you helped support just a few years ago in the country of Rwanda. First we will visit the country of Kenya. This country is well known throughout the world for its culture. The University of East Africa, Baraton, is the Adventist university where students can come and get a quality education. Their motto is not only to be a place of academic learning, but to serve their students in a holistic way. Their mission is to nurture the students mentally, physically, and spiritually. As the numbers of students at Baraton continues to rise, housing has become a problem here. Both faculty and students struggle to find places to live. Faculty have filled up the housing once intended for the married student population. For the faculty who don't fit in this building, housing is found far away off campus. It can take them an hour or more to get to the university on a daily basis, and the expense of traveling is high. The student housing on campus fills up quickly, and most students are forced to search for housing off campus. The housing situation off campus is not the best, but students do what they have to do in order to receive the quality education they so strongly value. <laughs> There is a growing population of married students on campus. They have no choice but to share a one-bedroom house with their children, dividing the room into sections with only a curtain. The houses are small and even fragile, making it a tough place to live. The children attend BIS, an Adventist primary school on the university's campus. Here the students can gain an education. Over. I need this one. This is Abigail. She is 11 years old and attends BIS. Her parents are theology students at the university. Abigail loves to learn here. She studies hard in school, so someday she will be able to get the job of her choice. The classrooms in this school are old and worn. When it rains, water floods the classroom, creating an uncomfortable learning environment for both teachers and students. Each day, she walks home for lunch. There is not enough space to prepare food for all the students, so only a few students at the school are able to stay for lunch. The rest walk home, sometimes more than two kilometers each way. The road is long, and its poor condition makes it a difficult walk for the children. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help build new classrooms and a cafeteria for the students here at BIS, as well as building married student housing and faculty housing at the university. Please keep the people of Kenya in your prayers. <laughs> The next country we will visit is the beautiful country of Tanzania. The city of Mwanza is also known as the Rock City, and for good reason. The city is made up of rocks and boulders that can be found for miles. Bordering the coast of Lake Victoria, Mwanza is home to more than 30 Adventist churches. On this Sabbath, church members from all over Mwanza gather to worship for their annual camp meetings. They gather by the hundreds to celebrate their mutual faith. Pastors from all over the city speak, and the event lasts all day. In Mwanza, there is an Adventist health clinic, offering their services free of charge to the community. People come here with their health issues because they trust the Adventist doctors. The dream here is to construct a full Adventist hospital. The members here are passionate to see this dream become a reality. They want to serve the mission of the church in any way they can. 
Construction has already begun based only on the contributions of local members. On this day alone, local members contributed 33 goats, three cows, and one sheep. These will be sold to ensure hospital construction continues. Prisca is a Seventh-day Adventist member in Mwanza and has faithfully and consistently given a portion of her earnings to the construction of the hospital. She keeps only the amount of money she needs to live and selflessly gives the rest to the church. It's members like her who see the great value in the hospital and how it can be a portal to reaching the community. Part of your 13th Sabbath offering will go to continue and finish the construction of the hospital here in Tanzania. The hospital will be a gateway to saving lives not only physically, but also spiritually. We will now move on to the country of Rwanda in the capital city of Kigali. Just a few years ago, part of your 13th Sabbath offering went to construct this multi-purpose building at the Adventist University of Central Africa. This building was completed thanks to your faithful giving. It gets plenty of use here where it frequently serves as the campus church. Students fill the hundreds of seats and the enrollment rapidly increases each year. The students and faculty here want to send a warm thank you to the World Church for supporting this project. With God's help and your support, they were able to finish this building for the students in Rwanda. Thank you for making sure this project was completed. Welcome to the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC. In this country, there are two projects taking place. DRC has taken the title of largest country in Africa. And the first project we will look at in this area is called Lukanga. Lukanga is home to the Adventist University, Uniluk. The school is located in a more remote area of DRC, but still draws students from all over. The administration here is committed to progression and wants to see their students succeed. Uniluk began in 1996 with about 100 students, but has increased its attendance by more than 800%. Kavira is a student here. When she was younger, Kavira was in an accident and was burned. Since then, she has lived with a physical handicap, but this hasn't stopped her from doing everything she can to receive a quality education. She works hard to earn the money to study here. To her, it is very important to receive an Adventist education Kabira is just one example of the commitment the students have here. With such a growing population of students, Uniloc has outgrown its classrooms. Classrooms are crowded with students and the school will even have to start turning down students if nothing is done to improve the facilities. They are already in the process of constructing housing to accommodate the growth here and want to continue accepting students. A portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help build new classroom buildings so the student population can continue to grow, so students can receive an Adventist education. As we move from one end of the country to the other, the landscape and the setting have noticeable changes. Here in Kinshasa, the capital of DRC, the church is working hard to reach the city. The cities are a difficult place to share about Jesus. People here only worry about themselves and their interests. There is a lack of trained people to go into the city and reach the community. The first project in Kinshasa is to build an evangelistic center here so pastors and lay members can be properly trained so they can effectively share the Adventist message with their neighbors. The existing leadership and church membership here are on fire for the Lord and want to extend the love of their Savior to the rest of Kinshasa. In addition to the challenge of bringing people to know Jesus, churches in Kinshasa struggle to support the needs of the children in the church. Children here really love Jesus and want to worship Him with all their hearts, but are forced to worship outside where the sun can be hot or the rain can be harsh. When the weather is too bad to be outside, children must sit in the adult church where they may not understand and thus lose interest. They need a place to worship in a way that fits their needs. The second project is to build lamb shelters so the children will have a place to worship. Hosanna. The East Central Africa Division is full of variety. The members here are passionate to do God's will and to follow His path. 
Please pray for the members in this region of the world, that their projects may be finished and God's work can be fulfilled. Thank you for your faithful support of the 13th Sabbath offering and the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church.